Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is EverQuest Project 1999. And we are in Agena down in the jail cells where we last left off. I'm hoping I'm recording my audio now. Uh, I recorded a bunch without audio. I might put that out first um, instead of this. But uh, this will be uh, part three of Najina, I guess. Whatever. Um, yeah, hopefully you can hear me now. I'm going to go do a couple tweaks. Tell him I'm AFK a sec. I don't know what he's doing. The f ah, so annoying. Uh, why did that attack us? I don't know what's going on. Let's just have the pet sit. And, uh, but anyway, the reason this is kind of weird right now is because I thought I was recording audio on part two, but I really wasn't, and, uh, now I hope I am, so, hopefully, I don't know, this is part three, I guess, so I was talking for nothing earlier, that is great, I love that, you know, that makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside, and I might have to mix, uh, mess with the audio here, so, uh, one sec, audio mixer, Try to turn it up to like 100% or something. We'll see if that's working a little better, maybe. Um, Alright, I'm going to try it like that. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully this is alright. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> so this might be a weird uh, start to a, a weird part. I don't know. Because uh, I was recording, and then my audio, I guess, wasn't recording for like 35 minutes. I'm glad I checked it, but uh, that's cool. Um, I'm hoping it's recording now, but I'm not sure. I think it is, because it's actually doing something instead of not doing anything. So whatever. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this for now. Yeah, he says, pet, just have one weapon. I say, yeah, but might be two-hand. Anyway, Dark Elf Necromancer, Green Server, Project 1999 EverQuest. We're in Najina. This is part three, it looks like. It might be It might be part two, it might be part three. Last time we were here, we fell down in the jail cells, and I died and everything. After that, I did get my corpse back. We're back at the jail cells, but we're actually, we came in the right way instead of falling in. We just killed a couple bosses and everything on the last part that I recorded without audio, so you may or may not see that before this. I'm not sure, so I'm just saying all this just in case this is the next video I put out. I don't know. So, he's going to give it a tentacle whip. That would be awesome, but that would be awesome, but I don't know. He might take it. Sometime... I think they use the better whip, but not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. I, I read that somewhere that they use the better weapon or something. I think I'm recording audio now. <laughs> 35 minutes of talking for no reason, though. And then uh, Badger here is a druid. What level are you? What is this? We got a blackened sapphire. Three stamina, five mana, secondary slot. Necromancer all. Secondary would be this. I got two stamina, two is ten mana. Mine better. Oh, uh, three stamina, five mana. Yeah, just let him have it. Primary, secondary. I don't know what I'm meditating for. 
But anyway, we... I don't know, guys. This is difficult because I just talked for 35 minutes and then, um... And, uh, figured out I wasn't, uh, recording, uh, my audio. And now we're here doing this. <laughs> so, the last video is probably going to end abruptly and this one's going to start abruptly. So, very sorry. I'm figuring stuff out, though. You guys know that. Most of you do. Some of you might be new here, but it's cool. Uh, major shielding is the only buff I got. I should say that. Uh, no buffs. Sorry. What we doing? Pop. How's the pet's health? 97%. Let's throw an uh, intensify death on it. So yeah, I apologize if this audio... I'm going to have to like re... Think everything I just said, or actually didn't say in the last video, so who knows? But yeah, we're in a Gina. It's like a buffed up a fallen for level 30s, and um, he's level 40. I'm level 32, almost 33, and uh, we are trying to get to Najina in Najina. I don't know. He said so we can so we have to wait on the Dark Elf Necro Rathal to get his key to move on to Drelzna to get her key to fight Najina. Or we can just or we can go straight to Najina and just sit down outside her door and hold on there. What's in there? Alright, uh I just buffed myself. I, I told him I don't have any buffs, but maybe he don't feel like rebuffing. I know how it I you know. know how it is. You don't always want to rebuff. A few mages. Are they green? I guess I'll do spirit armor. Oh, I gave my pet a whip. Sweet. Guess I'll buff myself. I don't know. I'm a buff guy. I like having my buffs on. I'm going to give him a buff. <laughs> Here, you take a buff, bro. I'll buff us. I don't know why. I mean, it's extra protection in case you run into trouble. A little bit of AC might give you that a little bit of extra time to gate out. You never know. Alright. Meditate. Oh, he's buffing now. Um. <laughs> Alright, now I feel like I need to say everything over, but hey, oh, just watch the part before this, I'll have to add the audio on top of it. Hopefully I can do that. If not, then uh, you don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, but, oh well. I don't know. We're, we're, we're trying to do uh, new things here with OBS and turning the microphone up and uh, recording through a different recording software. And I don't know. I've said it before. Uh, using a mic that's a PS4 mic, so it's not for this laptop. I'm using a work laptop that's not for gaming. And I'm playing a game that's not actually a game, and it's from 1999. It's an emulation. It's more like a window than a game, but you know what I'm saying? So all that added up means it's not going to be perfect. So I'm going to make my pet sit just in case. I don't know. What's his health? That's the guard. He's looking somewhere. I guess we're waiting for a pop here. So earlier, just in case you don't see that last one, uh, we killed, uh, the Bone... What was that frog's name? I'll type it to Badger. Bone Cracker, I think was his name. Bone Cracker? Yeah, we killed the Bone Cracker, and he dropped a whip. Uh, I got it in my inventory here. Sorry if you watched the last video. Uh, here it is. Barbed leather whips, 728. Hopefully you can see that. Um, for warrior, paladin, rain, ranger, shadow knight, bard, and rogue. And then, uh, also I'm level 32, almost 33, by the way. Just, AF, you know. And then it, we also got uh, this here. A dark circlet. Uh, necromancer only, no drop. Human, er erudite, dark elf, gnome, Ixar, 
Uh, it's minus 2 charisma, but it's uh, 4 intelligence, 10 HP, which is better than what I was using, which is just a, like a, I forget, a savant cap or something. So that's cool. I got um, an upgrade, a slight upgrade, and uh, a whip worth like 15 plat so far. Uh, Badger just got uh, something for his alt off of the boss in here. What did I get the Dark Circlet off? I got the Dark Circlet off of Trazdon. So we killed Bonecracker, Trazdon, and then like a, a human uh, monk guy right here. We just did it. We just did it. And he dropped some like black sapphire uh, primary, secondary. That wasn't any better than uh, uh, Idol of Woven Grass, but it was it was pretty close. He's going to give it to his... um. He is going to give it to his alt. Let's do intensified death just to be doing something. Keep it on this guy. I got a nice blue pet, even though I'm 32, so he's like the strongest pet I could get. Probably summon dead. What's this? A rusty flail. Let's throw that in the trash. And I'll loot that. Whore's Bane, educational purposes. Alright, I'm going to make this pet come here a little bit. And then guard. He was a little bit too close to the hallway for my liking. What do we got coming? Anything? So we killed the whole... I'm going to ask him... Oh, man. Well, so there's a high elf... Um, Let's go look around then. <clears throat> There's Moosh. I'll put my lure of death back on. But yeah, once I get this nailed down and uh, I get more practice, I'm going to try to do two videos a week for EverQuest with this Dark Elf Necromancer. Um, green server... Project 1999, and, um, you know, I'll get better and better at this, and we won't have little hiccups like this anymore, so. I think a normal person probably wouldn't put out either video, um, but I'm learning, and I've told everybody that, so I don't really care. My Gems of War videos are refined. If you want to watch my refined videos... Those are more refined. My Dark Souls, maybe. Even those, I'd like to redo a lot of those. So I had a, I got a new mic now. It doesn't work with this laptop very well, but it does work well with the uh, PS4. But yeah, Badger is a druid. Level 40. We're kind of trying to stay around the same level, but he is... I gotta say, he's much better at this game than me. When I played it, I was rather young. I can't remember how old I was, um, but closer to 10 than 20, that's for sure. And um, I think, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I wasn't like the smartest guy back then. I was a, a kid, and um, I remember getting to max level with my Troll Warrior, but that's about all I remember. I remember Karnor's Castle. I remember going to like Plane of, either Plane of Fear or Plane of Hate, and I did go to Plain of Sky like one time, but we weren't doing much up there. We just kind of went up there and died. And uh, mostly remember Karnor's Castle towards the end. That's mostly what I remember. And um, that's really it, honestly. I don't remember like City of Mist and all these other dungeons I see people going to. I don't remember Cor Kern's Tower. I, I didn't. I don't even think I did Valius. I did Kunark, and then Valius came out, and then I quit, like, right as it came out. So I might have seen, like, I might have even bought it and installed it, but I don't know if I actually played it or not. Now I just feel like I'm sitting here. I need to do something. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's intensify death our pet again. Um, Maybe a rebuff. I don't know. Let's take that down. Put on, uh, so we got resist cold, which is a decent spell. It's it's a. I don't know if anything in here is doing cold. That's the only problem with the like resist cold and resist poison. Like they're nice to have whenever you um. When you can, you know, but uh, if nothing's casting on you that's doing any kind of cold. Then um, it's just like a waste of time. So resist cold on the pet, and then I'll do it on myself. 
just have a bunch of armors on. We've got major shielding spirit armor. Now resist cold. And uh, what else do we got? I got shield skin, but I need a um a regent for that. And I don't know why I never grab it. Let's try to cast it and see what it says. Probably just say I'm missing the regent. Hopefully it tells me what I'm missing though. Then I could get it. Because that would really help. I wonder how long it stays on, too. I'm going to have to look up shield skin. It's going to let me cast it. It's funny. Cat's Eye Gate. So if I bought some Cat's Eye Gate, it's like a barrier, kind of. And uh, gives you a little bit of extra HP before you start taking damage, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Recast Spirit Armor, maybe. Because that doesn't last as long as Major Shielding. I know this is so exciting, but... This is the jail area. We're waiting for a spawn to... Uh, we killed the placeholder, which was a mage. We killed another boss guy, which dropped a item. We killed Moosh there. He drops a key. If I walk in there, there's High Elf a prisoner and Halfling p prisoner that will kill. That'll try to kill me and uh, won't try to kill a Badger, so we don't really want to be messing with that. And um, so we're just waiting for this thing to spawn that'll... You know, drop the key. Magician's pet, pet attack. Come on, get in there. And I'll burn down this mage. Boom. It's already almost dead. Might as well give it another whack. Bang. Later. And is my pet doing anything? Come on. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna sit. Uh, I need a lure of death. Lure of Death. I used quite a bit of mana there. Haven't really had to call out my mana much because we uh, have been dominating pretty much in Agena. But I'll do a Lure of Death and I'll sit my butt down and my pet's health is 87. I must have got blasted by something. But yeah, it's been cool. Killed the bone cracker, like I said, got the barbed whip, and then we came out of there. Or no, there's another boss down there. We killed that. That dropped the dark circlet. Um, he's gonna. I'm going to see if I can pull the other boss to here. Um, then we killed Moosh and another guy that dropped a sapphire, black sapphire or something. It's earlier in the vid video, or the video before this. And now we're here. This is the jail cells. Literally, we fell down in the, these jail cells. That's when I died in that video uh, previous. It's either the video before this or the one before that. The first Najino video. And now this is the placeholder for a mob that, a boss that will drop the key to get into Najina's room. Najina is the boss of this whole dungeon. That's what we're trying to get to. Well, that would be cool. Um. Excuse me while I check my audio again. It looks like it's okay, but probably still a little bit low. I just don't want it to be, like, too high, you know? But maybe I'll adjust it again. I don't know. Maybe my audio is not even on? Hmm. I wonder. No, that don't work. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to leave it like this. I mean, we'll, we'll try it next time, see what happens. But uh, at the moment, I have it on 300%. Audio input capture and 300% mic aux. So hopefully it's working. Active sources only? I don't know. I don't know. Minimize back to EQ. It says he needs a key. Okay. Um, what else could I do? I need full mana before I do anything stupid, so let's just get full mana first. But yeah, Najina. Uh, how do you get here? I think you go... I mean, there's only one way to go, really, unless you go to that little nook with the uh, tentacle terrors. Um, but then after that, you just head straight. You'll see the big Najina sign that says, you know, Najina above the uh, archway. You head that way, you pretty much go straight again. And then take a right at the T, go that way, you kind of head down the hallway. You don't go in any doors. You keep going down and to the left, kind of down, down, straight, straight, straight. And I think that's where we are, pretty much. About as deep as you can get in Najina, other than where Najina is. So 
that is where we're at. I wish I could look around for you, but this is the life of a necro kind of sitting on your butt. There's jail cells over there. There's false floors that fall into these jail cells, and that's what happened uh, in our first trip here, and I died. Um, that's back when I was like level 29, I think. And I don't know what my screen's doing. Holy crap. There we go. I don't know. Let's lose this. Get it out of here. Damask Sash. I'll give that to my pet. There you go, buddy. Take this Damask Sash. We'll give you one more AC. Alright, now I'm at full health. What do I do? Um. Let's see. Take this off. Let's try to put on some Endure Disease. We might actually get hit by that down here. Something to do. Is something coming? No? Okay. Endure Disease then. Let's cast it on Badger. How many buffs I got? Spirit Armor. Skin like Diamond. Resist cold. Endure disease. <laughs> My spell did not take hold. He must have something better on. Better than I do, because I, I put that on myself and it, it held. And on Venotech. Alright. Allure of death. Yeah, I really don't have nothing to do now. Could hit some uh, sense heading. Boom, 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 boom. Talk about things you don't want to hear about. Um, like, uh, yeah, trying this mic on here, trying OBS. Uh, it'll get better going forward. I'm pretty sure after this it's going to be better, no matter what, because of everything that happened today so far. I started filming the video on OBS, messing with the audio, messing with the video, stretching the screen out. Like, I pulled the uh, text screen up a little bit, and I pulled uh, my name tag down a little bit, and the target down, stretched the screen out, so you probably can't see, like, the top top part of the screen, which is actually up here, so you probably don't see my cursor right now, and now you probably do, now you probably don't, and then down here, you probably don't, and now you do, so I pulled this up, and, uh, so you might not be able to see my buffs here, I'll try to pull them up a little bit, pull this, uh, Badger's in my group, it says, so yeah, we're either camping this no rent key, or trying to pull the whole room through the door, oh my. Oh, my. Well, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm the level 32. <laughs> Not sure. I don't know. Meditating for no reason. Um practice hiding, but that would make my pet go away. Sense heading. Good sense heading. Most people uh, will tie this to a bind. Or they will bind it to a direction, I guess is how you say it. But I got it almost to 100 without doing that. Just like when you're bored, sit here and just click it. Magician begins to cast a spell. I am heading north. But yeah, I was a troll warrior back in the day. Um, went to Karnor's Castle, Plane of Hate. It's either Plane of Hate or Plane of Fear. I can't remember. Probably the easier one. Whatever the easier one is, just assume it's that one. And then the Plane of Sky, like I said, we went up there and pretty much did nothing. I don't remember much. I remember like an island and teleporting from like Freeport or something. Uh, just so you know, I'm not... Um, making stuff up. I remember like going somewhere, teleporting up there. There's islands up there. You like kind of teleport from island to island, and like people were falling off, and we were wondering. I don't know. I really don't know. We weren't up there that long. And then plane of hate, I think it was. Uh, I remember just sitting in a corner, and they were pulling stuff to us, and I don't remember exactly what. Interruck. I don't know. Somebody like that. And, um, yeah, that's most of my, and then Carnor's Castle, I remember, uh, you walk in, you kind of go to the right or the left, you sit there along the, I think it's water, and people pull stuff to you in the corner, or you can go in further, and there's, like, a room in there to, 
think you go to the back left, or like the front right or left. Then there's, of course, stuff even deeper in there. Um, but that was the main stuff. Then right outside of Karnor's castle, that zone there, I uh, fought there quite a bit. So, With a weighted axe. I used to do this uh, weighted axe kiting. I, I, I invented it, by the way. I'm not saying it's amazing or anything, but if anybody ever says anything about weighted axe, uh, or weighted, uh, is it weighted axe? I think it was a weighted axe. It was like 50 damage, it was like 100 damage or 200 damage, but like 500 delay or something crazy. Um, but anyway, you'd get a sew, and then you'd use the weighted axe if you're like a warrior or something. I was a troll warrior, remember? You get a sew, you take the weighted axe, which is crazy damage, but super slow. So you run up to the thing, and you hit it, and when you hit it, you run away, so you, it can't hit you. Of course, it's going to hit you once or twice, but you're not taking damage the entire delay, you know what I'm saying? And then once you think your delay's up, you run back up, you hit him again, and then you run away. Who's this guy, Slurpee? We got company. Somebody's here. Slurpee. Oh, is it a is it a monk? We always have a monk. Monk infestation. Wherever we go. There always there's always monks standing around. Is this a monk? Maybe not. Slurpee. A shaman. A level thirty five shaman. Last time it was a monk, now a shaman. Just standing here doing not, um, not much. But this is a lot of EverQuest. That's why it's hard. That's why people don't make a ton of content for it, I think. They get um self-conscious about how much they're sitting around and whatnot. But I feel like people like uh, AC Gamer does it really well. Uh, El Jefe, he's really good. He'll fill in the, the gaps with music and stuff. And um, Those are some of my favorites, though. Who are your favorites? Put it in the uh, comments. Who your favorite content creators for EverQuest are? Say, I do not. Um, but yeah, I like to watch... Mostly lately, I've been the only EverQuest person. I've been trying out a lot of people, actually, like random people, like Virik, and uh, I'm, I was going to mention this other other guy, but I sent him a message, and he didn't message me back, so uh, no rub for him, but he's pretty good, too. And then, uh, of course, um, Let's Roleplay used to play as Dalen75 or whatever. Um, he doesn't anymore. I think he should, but he is just not on that time anymore. Um, he's doing role-playing videos, which I get it, man. If that's your passion, that's your passion. Uh, I just I hate to see him treading water like that. And he does not agree with me. He doesn't see it. But it is what it is, man, you know? Can't tell people what to do, especially on YouTube. Um, but yeah, mostly people, just new people I've been watching, but everything I seem to click on is from like, um, you know, five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, uh, say, not that are up. Oh, great, bro, what are you doing? It's like pulling our stuff. I'm just gonna. Yeah, a hole, bro. Why are people like this? Get out of here. Don't start pulling stuff. This is where. This is like where we are. Why do people do that? They, like, go past you and pull stuff. Like, we're not here. Another numb nuts. I 
hate people. Why do they do stuff like that? Just go away, bro. I mean, we're here. We're standing right in the hallway. You'd have to run past us. There's nothing up that you can get in here. Bro, peace. Spell. So many people, man. It's so weird because this game is so old. Like, why are there so many, like, I don't even know how to describe them. Just idiots. Um, gets on my nerves. If you see somebody sitting near something, just assume they're camping it until you talk to them. That's all you have to do. You know, look around before you do things. It's like the real world, you know. You're driving down the street, and, um... The person in the other lane is just driving right down the middle of the road. Because they're the only person in the world. Everybody thinks they're the only person in the world. Get on my nerves, man. I might have jumped the gun on that guy, but still, whatever. I don't really care. I come across so many NNs lately, or NMs. Um, I'll just give some examples. I was in Befallen, camping a wing, and people run by me and steal, steal, steal some of my uh, mobs that I'm fighting. That I've been camping, I've held down for like two hours straight. Um, I'm at uh, Two Tones, and... I'm obviously sitting there camping him, or else why else would I be sitting near him? And people kill him. They don't even give me like a minute or two to, to get back from AFK. It's an obvious AFK camp, right? It's a bard. Um, check around. Ask people stuff. Make sure they're not killing it. I kept him down for hours and hours, and I was like a couple minutes late one time. You know what I mean? Um, what else? The other bard, um, Drizda. I've had people steal that from me before. Um, what else? There's been many examples. Uh, Oasis, uh, dude claiming the whole beach for himself. Him and his non-full group with, like, two or three people in it. They don't kill any of the gators. They're all ours. Like, come on, bro. And I've seen, like, chat, like, numb nuts everywhere. It's so weird because this game is so old. Like, you'd think people would be grown up, older, ma more mature. But then again, I look around at my neighbors in just real life and... You know, there's Humpty Dumpty's here and hillbillies there and, you know, people driving down the middle of the street, like everywhere they go, and just backing out of their parking spots without looking. It's just uh, the way of the world recently. That's why you got people running around storming everything. <laughs> I think everybody's going crazy. Like, they're so dumb, they're going crazy. They don't know how to live and be, be a person. They're just running wild, doing whatever, without thinking of the consequence. If I drive down the middle of the road, I'm going to run into the person in the other lane, and I'm going to lose my car, have to spend a bunch of money, get my insurance jacked up, go to jail possibly, maybe die, you know, if you're going down the middle of the road at 60 miles an hour, and somebody's not, and you know, looking for a, a ding-dong to be running down the middle of the road, you might run into them. Or if you just back out of your spot, you might kill somebody. Like a kid running by, or whatever. Like nobody cares these days. They're just, they're the only person in the world. That's the only way I can describe it. Everybody in the world is the only person in the world. Like, I don't get it. They're, they're too dumb to realize that they're not the only person in the world. Or so selfish. I think it's a little bit of both, though. I think it's 95% dumb and 5% selfish. And then you got some people that are 95% selfish and 5% dumb, but... Still, most of them are just super dumb. And it gets on my nerves. They're in this game, too. Like, who chooses to play an emulation of a game from this long ago 
and still be a griefer and a and a and a who cares and a I'm the only person in the world or I don't get it. But hey, good time for a rant, right? We're just kind of chilling in the Gina, looking at some jail cells. Um, if we don't get it this time, I might stop the recording and just uh, check on it and everything. But yeah, we're camping. Um, whoever that person just said. Uh, who is it? Uh, Rathel. We're killing Rathel for the key to get into Najina's room. So, hopefully he isn't out there running around killing stuff, waiting for us to get the key so we can open the door so he can run in there. I don't know. You never know with these people. They're crazy. But, yeah, I don't know. Yep, another PH. So I might stop the recording here, but, um, yeah. We are in the Gina, the jail cells, the false floors above it, souped up but fallen, trying to get these keys so we can go fight Najina. If we do get the key, though, I'll, I'll start up the recording again and uh, make another video out of it. But for now, let's just kill this magician that's running weird and um, probably end the video there. Because I'm not sure, like the last video, there's no audio. I'm going to figure that out. And this video, I hope there's audio, but who knows what kind of audio. And I want to check it out. So that might be the last kill there. Another PH placeholder for the mob that actually drops the key to go into Gina's room. So, uh-oh, what's that? Oh, this guy, is he really in there? Ah, he fell down. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got that on video. Just numb nuts just fell. <laughs> that just proves it. Even though we did it last time. That's funny. Should just leave them in there. I think we I think we can open it though. I guess I'll open it and be nice. But if I get close, then uh they might have I'll see if I can do it. Oh, I gotta have something in my inventory. Badger probably knows what it is. Is it this one? No. This one? No. Let's make sure he knows he's stuck in there first. <laughs> you see that? This guy that was just here? That's funny. Badger would let him out, of course. A magician. I was gonna let him out too. But he'll 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 hop to it. Even though we're in a fight, he'll probably hop to it. Yep, see? I was about to do it. I got the key out. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm just standing there staring at him. I was getting the key. I think so. I was just looking at him. A large splinted bronze cloak. Nice. But yeah, once the action stops again, I'll probably stop recording just because. Uh, I don't want to make you guys sit here for another 20 minutes waiting for stuff to spawn. Is that all? Is it another wait? I just want to make sure you guys aren't going to miss anything. I can always start back up. I mean, it might take me a second to get it started back up, so we might miss a little bit, but hopefully not. We'll see. Uh, asking him what he thinks here. Got some words. Not bad. All right, waiting on another PH or Rathel. So, yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, if anything pops, though, I'll make sure to start recording again and... Uh, you either have to check it out in the next part or whatever. I'm not really sure how this is going to come out, like, as far as parts and audio and is this good, is that good. Like, I recorded 35 minutes before this, but with no audio, so then i got to figure out can I put audio on that or not. If I can't, then this video will be the next one, hopefully with audio, and we'll see how that sounds, but who knows. And, uh, hey, none of this may come out, so who knows. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. 
Um, trying to get to 40 members for a six-hour live stream. Um, and uh, tell your guild about the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all next time. Put your favorite, uh, other than me, of course, because I'm your favorite, right? Put your favorite uh, EverQuest content creator in the comments. Uh, I would say mine right now is probably... I don't know. I like Super Bits and Bob. I like AC Gamer, and I like El Jefe. And I don't want to say who's my favorite because I like them all. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, consider joining helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel, and I'll see y'all next time. Badger, we'll see you next time with his little 40, level 40 halfling hairy foot butt, and my dark elf level 32 with his new dark circlet, and my pet with a whip and a axe. Next time, peace.